Okay, let's get going. Right, so my name is Georgi Kodinov. I am a senior uh, development manager or uh, what used to be a team lead in uh, the old MySQL days. I uh, have a long history with MySQL uh, starting in 2006 and well, still happily calling along, I guess. Right, so we are going to talk today about something different. So this is uh, not a brilliant technical achievement. It's a way to basically hunt. So uh, a bit of a different subject. Right, so this is the... This is a thing that just demonstrates ideas. It's not there for you to make decisions based on it. Uh, it will just demonstrate some options that you can take with MySQL. Uh, all right, so honey potting. Uh, how many of you, please raise your hands if you ever did anything with uh, information security? Great, great, great. So, uh, to quote the book, of all, the, the book of all knowledge, uh, a honeypot is a computer security mechanism set to detect, deflect, or in some manner counteract attempts to of, at unauthorized use of uh, information system. So basically, um, I like the definition, and uh, we are going to now examine what these words mean, the one in bold. The bold is mine, actually. All right, so detect. Basically, you have something that people want, and you have, a, you have an alarm attached to it. So uh, whenever somebody tries to access to the honey, you get an alarm that's detecting. Deflecting is a bit different. You still have the, 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 the valuable parts, but you, uh, once people start uh, trying to get those things, you get them into fairyland. Basically, you show them uh, unicorns, rainbows, uh, well, flags and all. Basically, people think they are doing the real stuff, but they are actually, uh, well, taking a ride in your theme park, pretty much. Right. So, uh, and counteract. This is a bit harsher. There's no unicorns there, just a big old trap. So whenever somebody tries to access the honey, you catch them. That's plain and simple. Okay, so let's do detect with MySQL. Right. So we said already we have the we have the, the honey and we have the bell. So honey is data, that's easy. I mean you well, people are after your data when they attack MySQL. They don't want anything else pretty much. But you, you need a buzzer. Uh, you need to put something that will alarm you when people attack your data. So that's what I'm going to show you now. Uh, it's a simple plugin that I wrote. It's uh, probably 20 lines of code. Uh, it's an audit log plugin. Uh, those of you that, be, uh, that have been to uh, Mark Leeds' uh, session, he was talking about the same kind of plugin. So it's a pretty uh, versatile way of doing things in MySQL. Basically, um, it reacts to a lot of uh, events inside the server. So we can use it to do pretty much interesting things, a lot of interesting things, actually. Right, so what's the idea? The idea is that if a non-DBA uh, accesses a predefined attractive table, uh, then the plugin will detect that. It will lock a special message for the DBA into the error lock, and it will start rejecting all further commands. Basically, the, the alarm is on, and uh, you are in panic mode. And yeah, right. So it's a couple of lines of code. I can, I will actually show you some of that, and it's pretty easily customizable. This uh, second definition here, it's it does not have to be that. It can be whatever you like it to do. But well, this is for demonstration purposes only, so it's a um, it's a good goal. Right. So this is how the code looks. I hope it's not too small. But okay, so here are the important parts. This is a. Uh, uh, audit log plugin. 
This is the panic mode part. So if it uh, is in panic mode and you are not a super, then, well, it stops. It blocks you right there. This is the checking part right here. So this is what triggers the condition. It checks whether the, uh, we are accessing tables and whether we have set up the plugin. So we have a table and a, da and a database value. And then if we have those, it checks the values against uh, the table that is being supplied. And if it matches, then it enters panic mode. So in panic mode, it sets the, the panic mode flag, locks, a, locks the message, and then, well, uh, tells the server to uh, basically stop executing the current command. Right, so this is the code. Uh, it's on GitHub. You can, well, play with it as much as you like. Uh, so how do you compile it? You take the, the GitHub uh, repository, put it in, uh, take a MySQL source distribution or a Git tree. You can just call the, the MySQL source from there. And you put the code that is there, the C file and the CMake file into this directory plug in audit require, and then you compile as you normally do. So this will end up with a, um, with a shared library, the plugin shared library, that you can load in, inside the server. There's more details on to that URL. Uh, the process is described in details. You can just well, follow the steps there. All right, so this is how it, uh, this is how setting it up looks like. We uh, first lay down the honey, so we basically create a human resources database. It does have to look attractive, so we create a human resource salaries table, and we eventually put some data into it, and then we grant all privileges onto it to pretty much everybody that logged in to the system. This is a special construct here, which applies this privilege to all users, current and future users. Right. So we also set up the buzzer. We install the plugin uh, itself. And we uh, set the table to be the, the salaries, table name, and the database to be the HR. So basically what this means is that every access to that table will trigger our uh, buzzer. Right, so we have the two components of detection as mentioned already. Okay, so we have some unexpected visitors. Typically, malicious users, they do something that is called lateral movement. So lateral movement is you um, use some legitimate ways to log into the database or to the object under attack, and then you start trying to see what else can you do aside from the privileges that you know you have. So this is called lateral movement because you kind of move sideways and try to realize what is there. Okay, so uh, the user starts with the lateral movement by showing all databases. Uh, they want to see what uh, databases they have access to. And they say, oh, okay, HR, that's interesting. Right, so they switch to HR and they try to show the tables in it. That's also fine. I mean, there is a salary table and it works. Uh, and there's no access to the salary table just yet, so well, it works. Okay, show create table, that works too. And it sounds attractive, there is a salary column. So, okay, great, even better. Now, we we have everything. Uh, the, the user has detected some valuable data, according to him, to extract. So they start with the extraction. They start with the select from salaries. And what they get is this um, error here. Uh, that's our plugin kicking in. Uh, and then every subsequent command that they enter is also aborted because the plugin has entered plug, uh, panic mode. So basically all commands by non-DBAs will end up like that. And you also get this uh, buzzer inside your error lock. You get a warning saying, okay, somebody's accessing the honeypot. Time to act. 
There is a connection ID here, which should give you an idea of which connection this came from. Of course, this is just for demonstration purposes. You can print all kinds of information there. It's available. Just uh, wanted to be short. Right. So that's our buzzer kicking in. Okay, so now you you go in as DBA, you assess the damage, you understand what was done, you eventually have audit logs turned on, so well you have a full record of what happened. And after you are done with all these activities, you want to prime your honeypot again. So what you do is you reset the, the panic mode and you are a DBA here as root as local host. So you can do that. And then after that, uh, the system enters like the initial state and it's ready to catch some more, well, flies. All right, and that's all of my talk really. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, please go ahead. Okay, so the, uh, the question is whether the panic mode is global for the server or for this session only. Uh, right, so uh, right now the way this plugin is created, uh, it is global for all the sessions in the server because the, the audit uh, API event would fire for all the commands by all sessions, future and current. Uh, you can do it differently, you can do it per session, you can do it in all other ways, it's all there, but you need to put some more work. Uh, more questions? On the back. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, the question is the following. Uh, whether the tripwire is visible if you do show globals, and is it possible to hide it? Uh, yes, it is visible because it has two system variables. That's how you will see it. If you want to hide that, then you just need to configure your tripwire in a different way, not through system variables, like, well, read a configuration file or whatever. More questions? No? Okay, we'll finish early then. Great, thank you.